Watch where you step. Oh, it's oh. gonna get messy. Oh, this is disgusting. Hang on for the loop. loop. I'm Ricky. I'm Jamie. Welcome to The Loop Show. Ricky, would you say that you live the good life? Like uh, some of all parts, like if I would give myself a grade. Normally, whenever I think of living the good life, I think of somebody really rich that just like spends their days on the beach sipping orange juice. But, uh, but no, I think that we're actually talking about making good choices in life or making bad choices in life. I'd say probably uh, three out of five. I would say, I would say three out of five as well. I'll admit sometimes I just don't know what choices to make. Well, there's actually a book in the Bible that helps us making wise choices. It's called the book of Proverbs. That's pro-verbs. Check out this explanation. There are three books in the Bible that have come to be called the wisdom literature, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and Job. And all of these books are addressing the same set of questions. What kind of world are we living in? And what does it look like to live well in this world? So how to be good at life. Yeah. So each of these books tackles these questions from a unique perspective, and it's important to understand all of them to get a fully biblical perspective on the good life. So as a thought experiment, you could actually imagine each of these books as a person. So Proverbs would be like this brilliant young teacher, and Ecclesiastes the sharp middle-aged critic, and Job would be this weathered old man who's seen a lot in his day. We're going to start by meeting the book of Proverbs. So what makes her so smart? Well, Proverbs can see things that most people don't see. She believes that there's an invisible creative force in the universe that can guide people in how they should live. And you can't see it, just like you can't see gravity, but it affects everything that we do. So what's this force? Well, in Hebrew, it's called chokhmah, and it usually gets translated into English as wisdom. It's an attribute of God that God used to create the world. And chokhmah has been woven into the fabric of things and how they work. So wherever people are making good or just or wise decisions, they're tapping into chokhmah. And whenever someone's making a bad decision, they're working against chokhmah. Right, or as it says in Proverbs chapter 1, the waywardness of fools will destroy them, but the one who listens to wisdom lives in security. So it's like a moral law of the universe. Yeah, it's a cause-effect pattern, and no one can escape it. And Proverbs personifies all of this as a woman. Yeah, Lady Wisdom. Right, and she roams around the earth calling out, making herself available to anyone who's willing to listen to her and to learn. Which leads to the second thing Proverbs believes, that anyone can access and interact with wisdom and use it to make a beautiful life for yourself or for others. You can create with it like a designer. Yes, in fact, chokhmah in Hebrew isn't simply intellectual knowledge. The word is also used to describe a skilled artisan who excels at their craft, like woodworking or stonemasonry. So you show you possess chokhmah when you put it to work and develop the skill of making a good life. Okay, that makes sense. So let's do this. Let's go find some wisdom. But before you do, Proverbs has one more really important thing to consider. Chokhmah isn't some impersonal force. It's an attribute of God himself. And so in Hebrew thought, your journey to becoming wise has to begin with what Proverbs calls the fear of the Lord. It's this healthy respect for God's definition of good and evil. And true wisdom means learning those boundary lines and not crossing them. Now, all those ideas you just unpacked are in chapters one through nine in Proverbs. But when I think of the book of Proverbs, I think of the collection of sayings, the Proverbs themselves. Tell me about those. Yeah, those are what you find in chapters 10 on to the end of the book. It's a collection of hundreds and hundreds of Proverbs about any and all aspects of life. And chokhmah gets applied to them, resulting in this wise guidance to help you find a path towards success and no matter what you do. If I design my life with these sayings, life is gonna be good. Yeah, or as Proverbs puts it, it'll give health to your bones, prosperity, a long, rich life. Which is a really big claim. But you can see how it's often the case. Wise people, they tend to do better. Things usually work out well for them in life. And so that is the promise and the wisdom of the book of Proverbs. I love how they say anybody can access or interact with wisdom. That includes us. That includes you. Jamie, what's one of the worst decisions you've ever made? 
I remember one time I was in my music theory class and I was taking a test and I got really nervous that I was gonna fail and so I casually started looking at my neighbor's test to see what they were writing down. Uh, Shortly after I got my driver's license, I was told not to have a car full of people. I could only have one passenger. One day I decided I was gonna pick up all of my friends for school. My dad caught me. Well, we certainly weren't accessing wisdom during those decisions. <sighs> No, each choice we make is like a path. We're gonna choose a wise path or a foolish path. That's actually what we're gonna be talking about today. So before we do that, let's look at this. Or over here. Or maybe it's up here. I, I don't know where okay, it's at. Okay, now I'm gonna get my compass. Your compass? He's not really good with this compass. Are we sure this is a good idea? So we are going to be doing the Wise Pies Challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't know much about it other than we don't have any any socks or shoes on. That's right. You know why? Because uh, when it comes to Judo Bob, we don't use shoes. We use what our God gave us, and that is uh, bare feet. I, it's Judo Bob. I am so excited. Judo Bob, I'm a big fan of all you, your tapes. Uh, thank you so much. I, I'm a big fan of you guys, and I'm a big fan of this challenge. Uh, are you guys are you guys pumped? Are you yeah, ready? Yeah, now yes. that you're here. <laughs> we, well, well, thank you. Uh, <laughs> we are talking about wise choices. I'm the master of wise choices, and we're going to see how you guys stand up to uh, wise choices when it comes to pies and disgusting things. Ricky, Jamie, you guys ready? Yeah. Ready. Uh -huh, let's go. <laughs> All right, as you can see, we have a few boxes here. Be careful where you step. It's the Wise Pies Challenge. Choose one of the two boxes in front of you. That's one, two, yes. Step down into it. And one box hides a pie, the other one is empty. Ooh. So you either get an empty box or you get a pie filled with uh, specialties. And this is where we get all philosophical. Just like the two boxes that you have in front of you, that's a wise decision or a not so wise decision. So yes, very deep. Now, before you get started, you each have two cards, okay? These cards may help as you are making your choices. You can play your card anytime by announcing to me, that would be Judo Bob, that you would like to play a card. Okay. So, Ricky, you have five seconds. Okay, um, I'm leaning towards this. Woo! Wise choice or not? Ah, not wise! Oh, really? That would be a not wise decision. Yeah, that's a pie. Oh, that is oh. a pie. That looks beautiful. Oh, yeah. I had a manicure and pedicure that looked exactly like that. Yeah, it looks like mustard and, oh, you know what? Nacho cheese. Jamie, which box would you like to put both feet in? Okay, I've heard left is right, right is wrong. So I'm gonna go with the left. Woo! Oh no! I was wrong! The saying is wrong! It's both feet, oh please. my gosh! Ah! Oh. I really don't like being like I don't like my feet on things. Okay, next box. Ricky, are you ready? Hi. To I, take the plunge into the next box. I will not make the same mistake twice, so I'm gonna go diagonal. Ha! Ah, yes! Oh, you have an empty box, the wise choice. Wisdom. Oh, beautiful, Ricky. I would like to play a wise choice card. Okay, we're playing the wise choice card. I will take that, wise choice. That box 
is empty. Great. So unless you want a pie again. No. Beautiful. Wise choices. Thank you. We made a wise choice today. One was by luck. Third box. I think the path for me is going to be a diagonal path. Okay, we're choosing diagonal paths. But that's very do... bold. This one. Oh, oh no! Uh, we oh, hit another oh, prize. That hurt. oh, no. That smells no. very bad. No, I, if no, that no. was a board, I would want to break it. Uh, blue cheese, maybe? I'm going to go with this box. Let's go. Oh, ah! Oh there. no. It's cold. I believe something just popped in there or juices are flowing over yeah, the feet. Yeah, gross. There's something green in it. There's something green in it. Mm, there's like something salad. green in it. It looks like there's That's, seaweed. What you guys are experiencing is a thing called kimchi. Oh, I, I can't kimchi. spell it. Kimchi is a fermented cabbage. Would you like to use one of your cards? I would. I would like to choose a celebrity tweet. A celebrity tweet. Well, Jaden Smith, which is the son of Will Smith, the Fresh Prince himself. Yes. Once said, the more time you spend awake, the more time you spend asleep. What? The more time you spend awake, the more time you spend asleep. If I were asleep, I would just keep walking forward. So I'm gonna keep going diagonal because Very that's the wisest thing to do. Oh no! We hit another pie. Can you uh, believe it? This feels like it came from the ocean. Okay, we have ocean pie. It looks beautiful. Sardines. I think he's stepping in sardines. For the people at home, what is a sardine? A sardine is a small fish. It's a small fish that is not so tasty when it comes to pie. Okay. I'm going to use the magic eight ball. The magic eight ball. The eight ball says, cannot predict now. So sorry, waste of a card. Choose your box. <sighs> We Yay, have an right. empty box. Yay. Oh, man. We have a wise choice made by luck. Jamie, would you say that the Magic 8 Ball was helpful? No. OK, so we should not rely on wise answers when it comes to Magic 8 Balls or anything of the like. Do we have any cards left? I have a card. We do have a card. And I'd like to use it. The wise <laughs> choice card. That box is empty. OK. <laughs> Yay! Beautiful. Jamie, which box do you choose? I'm gonna choose this one. Hopefully nothing. Ah, oh no, what we have a pie. That? What are these? Oh, They're like man. squishy little beads. Squishy little beads. Um, They're popping under my toes. Well, look at that. In case you guys forgot, there was one box that you guys both did not get to experience. Uh -huh. Are you curious as to what was in that box? Yes. Okay, well, let's take a look. Yes, I was hoping you'd do that. <laughs> Did we miss, like, the most disgusting box? You did miss the most disgusting box. Oh, that's so gross. It's big. Cool. It's squid and salmon. It's the deepest of the sea creatures came to life today. Oh, oh thank you. Jill. All right. Oh, thank you, guys. I appreciate your participation. Uh, I believe the next segment is Josh. Uh, back to you. <laughs> hey, Internet. Whoop. Josh Rizlecki, that's Polish. Boy, you've got a fast connection here. <laughs> Whoa, who, who are you? Mm, I'm the internet, but you can call me Webbles. Well, nice to meet you, Webbles. Oh, thanks. Good to meet you too, Josh. What can I help you with? Webbles, I'm looking for things on wisdom. Yeah, the side effects of losing your wisdom teeth. I can help you with that. There's like six videos back here. What can, no, what can I- No, no, keep, keep scrolling. I, I, I want to learn about wisdom. Oh, yeah, 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 sure. Um, cats can't taste sweet, and Hawaiian pizza was invented in 1962. NBA players run as much as four miles during a game. Uh, no, I want to learn more about wisdom and how to make the right choices. Oh, well, well, let's see. We can go to uh, your Aunt Susie's Facebook page. She's got a lot of opinions there. We can go to uh, Etsy. There's some cross-stitch wisdom. Eat, pray, love. Um, we can go to uh, the book of Proverbs as written by the wisest man in the world. The book of Proverbs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well tell me more about that. Well, uh, let's see. It was written uh, by King Solomon. Um, what else do you want to know? Now, King Solomon, he's the one who asked God for wisdom, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, famous story. God said, I'll give you one thing, and King Solomon asked for wisdom. Wow, and so what does the book of Proverbs say about making ch the right choices? Well, let's see, it says a lot. Let's cram through uh, Proverbs 3, 6 says, seek his will in all you do and he will show you which path to take. Seek his will. Seek whose will? What are we talking about? I think you're talking about God's will. God's will or Kanye's will, because he has a lot of opinions too, you know. No, not Kanye, because you were saying that Proverbs is the book of wisdom. It's it's not advice, it's wisdom that we can use in our lives. So So what you're saying is, that the book of Proverbs that talks all about wisdom yeah. tells me that my wisdom doesn't come 
from from earthly knowledge that it comes from God. Yeah. Well, so, um, so if I'm wanting to make the right choices, I just need to seek God's will. I need to seek Him out. Yeah, but the Bible won't tell you that uh, roller coasters can help you pass kidney stones. No, but it, but what the Bible will tell me is that wisdom doesn't come from a magic eight ball, or it doesn't come from famous celebrities' tweets or anything no. like that. It comes from God. So if I want to make the right choices in life. I don't need to trust on myself. I need to trust in God and follow His will and seek out what He has to say about making that choice. That would be Man, the wisest Wibbles, choice. I appreciate it. That, yeah. Thank you so much. You, you've helped so much. Definitely. Have a great day. Oh yeah, sure. You want to scroll through Instagram some? I got some great videos. Where'd my desktop background go? Yeah. Oh, it smells so bad. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to get the stench out of my foot. My feet already smell pretty funky. Did you know that in the book of Proverbs, there are 31 chapters? So most months you could read a chapter a day and spend the entire month gaining wisdom. It's a good place to start. God's wisdom is available for everyone. Trust him to help you make wise choices. Cool. And until next time, enjoy, enjoy the ride. ride. This towel is done for. We're gonna have to burn this towel. Next challenge, smell this towel. Okay, here we uh. go. Oh, no, no. Oh, what is that? I think that's the anchovies. This looks like a piece of skin from the anchovies. Ugh. It probably is. If you haven't gotten your pie fill, check out our pie detector test where, where we, we got face pied instead of feet pied.